I'm Vicki Liviakis and welcome to Body Beautiful. This is a show where we talk with local professionals about the latest in cosmetic procedures and medical devices. We also take your calls live on the air. And with us today we have our plastic surgeon, Dr. Joseph Mealy, and we're gonna be talking about breast augmentations, and breast lifts and the combination of both. Later, we'll be taking your calls, answering any questions you might have for the doctor. Here's the phone number 800-440-4884. We'll also be posting the phone numbers to the doctor's office, so uh, be ready to jot those down. And before we get started, any advice we give you today, certainly you're gonna wanna consult your own physician as well. Welcome back to the program, Dr. Thank Neely. Thank you, nice to be here. Favorite topic for a lot of people, breasts. It's, it's one of the more popular things that I uh, work with. It, it, indeed, and it, it's not a cookie cutter situation. One size no. does not fit all, and you know most people yes. know about one procedure, which is the augmentation. And, right, and that's probably the one that I, I perform most frequently because okay. uh, it is one of the more popular uh, requested procedures. But, but you're right, one size does not fit all. Um, and, and different people have different challenges. I'm Surely. not going to put it as a challenge. Like, so you also do, in addition to augmentations, you do breast lifts. Yes, and sometimes that's part of the challenge is when we do a breast augmentation, everything needs to be in the right place because really augmentation is really magnifying or enlarging the breast and if the shape is nice to start with that's all we need to do we can enhance it and it looks very good uh, but does gravity factor into the breast lift that you're trying to trying to counteract the yes. effects of gravity. the ravages of time it's a child weak force, but persistent uh, the childbearing with uh, breastfeeding the breast engorge they get larger and usually after pregnancy they get smaller again the problem is the skin doesn't always get smaller if the skin shrink wraps, then everything still looks good, the nipple's up where it should be. If the breast gets stretched out, then the skin gets pulled down, and the breast tissue itself or the nipple can be below the fold underneath the breast. Okay. What if you go to the gym, you work out, there are exercises you can do to, to work on the that. pectoral muscles? Yes. All those things are good, but they don't make the skin shrink. They don't? No. All I right. wish there was a way. All right, but you have a solution. We do have a way. Uh, the best way that we have right now is, is with surgery. We don't have any good skin shrinking rays. There's no laser we can shine that shrinks the skin significantly, but we can remove some of that skin with surgery and do a lift. And how we do it depends, again, on what needs to be lifted and how much needs to be All lifted. Right. You brought some pictures. We're not going to go to those just yet. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll go to those after the break. But in essence, what you're doing is you're re repositioning yeah, there's really two components to the lift. One is the nipple placement. So we want the nipple to be above the fold so it looks perky and young. That's usually where they start. Uh, and we also want the breast tissue to be above that fold so it's not low and usually to the outside. So when we do lifts, we're lifting the breast tissue up as well as repositioning the nipple. Okay, so the difference between the two, are, is one a more extreme surgery than the other? In other words, the augmentation is a fairly straightforward, simple one, but mm -hmm. if you're doing a lift, you're, you actually, it's more complex. I think out of the two, the augmentation is the most simple because with oh. an augmentation yeah. we're making an incision we're basically making a pocket to put an implant in and then filling that pocket with the implant with a lift we're really structuring the breast so we're tailoring the skin to match the volume of the breast so that it fits nice it's a lot more like making a dress or, or making a pattern and then putting things back together than it is just inserting an implant okay uh, but for someone who's thinking about having this sort of surgery if what if you're 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 still of ch childbearing age mm -hmm. and you want to have more children and nurse d d does it sure. get in the way of that uh, it can uh, breast lifts can decrease the amount of milk that's made and so can breast augmentation uh, if someone is actively trying to get pregnant I wouldn't recommend that as a good you know option at the time and certainly with pregnancy things can change again uh, but if someone's planning on having children at some point in the future it won't interfere with them uh, being able to breastfeed other than there may be a little less milk the okay. milk itself has not changed though all right well yeah. Yeah, actually good point because all that good work that you do could you could become undone well it can get pregnancy. stretched again yeah doesn't always happen doesn't always happen the first time but it's possible okay well at least we have uh, one tool at our disposal uh, to, to fight some of the the, uh, the effects of nature mm -hmm. and gravity um, actually several tools so yes. you're gonna we're gonna talk and there's about there's different this. types of lifts depending on what needs to be done some smaller some bigger Okay, we need to take a very quick break, but for more information about Dr. Mealy, you can call him at 925-943-6353 or check him out on the web on both drmealy.com and also San Francisco Plastic Surgery Blog.com. There's also a uh, version of his website in Spanish at Surgia Plastica, San Francisco.com. We'll be taking your phone calls and continue our talk about breast procedures when we come back on Body Beautiful.
The information and advice given on this program is for general informational purposes only. For medical advice on specific treatments, medical professionals should be consulted. You should not initiate a course of treatment without consulting a qualified doctor.